Hey, Flower Mound. All right, so I am back with another visual journal technique for you to try in those amazing visual journals that you're creating. Um, just as a quick reminder, if you want more details about the project or if you're not sure what project we're working on, um, you can visit the first video on our YouTube channel. It explains our visual journal challenge, which is basically um, we're challenging you to create a visual journal full of things that are reflective of your experience about what's going on right now, like everything that's happening in the world. A lot of us are at home now more than we usually are. Um, our routines, our schedules are a little bit different, so it's just incorporating visual things to express um, our perspective of what's going on. At the end, we're gonna bring them all together and have a big art historical kind of collection to revisit in the library um, for visitors to come and look at and and look at our experiences and share with one another so that being said if again if you want more details go visit the first video um, today I'm just gonna show you a quick thing that I did in my visual journal um, that is super easy that you can incorporate in yours as well and I'm actually gonna play off of one of the things that we already did so in the first video we took the toilet paper rolls and rolled them in paint and kind of put that paint into the journal to start to build those layers of backgrounds, which is um, one thing that makes visual journals really pop and really nice are kind of lots of background layers. So I've already finished, but I'll show you what I did. So if you'll remember, um, this is the background layer that I did that had the toilet paper rolls where we rolled the paint and used the ends to make the circles. So what I did, was I painted a page solid black and I cut squares out of it. And so it's kind of like a peekaboo page. Um, and then I just took them off so you could see what was on the back. I took paper clips and I put the pages together so that when you open it, you only see kind of the peekaboo page. Another way to do that, um, and you can do anything, like you can cut any shape if you have some sort of patterns or um, like some a guideline to go by that you want to cut specific shapes you can do that I just took a hole punch with this one and punched some holes and then I put like made another hole and just tore out circles and so this is my second peekaboo page so they're together and then um, this is what the next page looks like so here's without it and then there's with the circles so the meaning behind this is kind of the idea that I think um, we might feel like there's a lot of darkness around us right now, but there's always something beautiful just around the corner, just through people's windows when they're decorating and putting these beautiful rainbows and artwork and the chalk art that's outside. Um, there's always some beauty peeking in through the darkness. And so this is what this was my interpretation of that, which is something that I'm noticing um, throughout these times. So there you go. You can do anything you want on the page. And then um, I painted mine black to, so it wouldn't take away from what was peeking through in the areas that I cut out, but you can do anything you want with that. Um, all right, so that's our tip trick for today. Again, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, my email is krissi.oden at flower-mound.com. All right, stay safe, y'all. See you soon.